think a term commonly used in the cannabis industry is the concept of mother plants. Uh, these plants are also considered uh, stock plants, and they're plants that are unique genetics that are going to be the source of many offspring, in the sense of many clones. Uh, and that's why they're called the mother plants, or the mother room is where uh, these plants will be kept. So mother plants is one that will be used to generate many clones. This can be referred to as a stock plant since it is the main source of propagation material for future plants and typically around two months old. So they're kind of that one plant and going to have all these identical offspring uh, that are going to come from that one stock plant. They want to ensure that the mother plant's in good health and has desired traits is critical for the success of any grow operation. Uh, any female plant that can become a mother plant and the original plant material can be a seed or a clone. So you want to make sure they're in the peak of health, you want to make sure they're getting all the nutrients that they need, not overfed, not underfed, in the proper moisture uh, conditions, so they're not going under any um, biotic or abiotic stresses. Um, maximizing cannabinoid production, for example, a six-month-old plant will produce more cannabinoids than a one-month-old plant. A one-month-old clone can actually behave more like a four-month-old plant and can be encouraged to flower in a shorter interval by photoperiod adjustment. So this can also help uh, maximize production if we're looking especially at a large-scale operation where days and weeks uh, difference can make a large uh, end product different. So reducing that time as much as possible uh, through the use of mother plants and clones is one way to accomplish that. To maintain that mother plant, the goal is to keep the mother plant in the vegetative phase with just enough nitrogen to allow for easing cloning process and event uh, by a short duration to root. If you overfeed them with nitrogen, the time to root will be greatly increased and that can offset schedules and also make a difficult following process with a weak root system. So this is why you want to keep them healthy and properly fed, but not overly fed.